Honestly, I can't believe that this is a part of my job. How you doing viewers? Now let me ask you something. What has two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions all on a sesame seed bun? You would think the automatic answer is Big Mac, right? And guess what? What? You'd be correct. But there is another sandwich from Burger King. Do you know what it's called? The Big King. The Burger Wars are here. The Burger Wars, they are here. The Burger Wars are here. So upon finding out this news today, I decided to venture out to Burger King and the McDonald's in Brooklyn, New York and pick up both sandwiches just to do a taste test for you. But first, a mandatory disclaimer. My name is James Sweeney and I am a relatively healthy eater. I do cook a lot and I am poisoning my body for you, the viewer, and for entertainment purposes as well as video views. Hooray! Before I open these sandwiches and take a bite, I need to say a few things. The Big King Sandwich is not anything new. What? It's not. Back in 1997, it was the Double Supreme. It double filled. Aww. In 2002, it returned as the King Supreme, a supreme disappointment. Aww. And now 2013, it's Hooray! back again, but with Mick modifications. Now that was good. It's basically a Big Mac clone, down to the addition of a middle bun between the beef patties. That's right, a middle bun. So, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's beast out on burgers. Are you ready to beast out on burgers? Let's get to it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's beast out on burgers. Up first, we have the Big Mac from Brooklyn. And I start with this only because, hey, it's the one we all know. It's a classic. Does it pack that Big Mac taste? Let's find out. <laughs> It's not too bad, it's not too great. Uh, typical pickles, Thousand Island, or special sauce. Nice. We also have, what else? Cheese, lettuce. Very nice. That looks like a proper Big Mac from Brooklyn, right? Thrown all together, cool. Tastes just like a Big Mac. Okay. Nothing new. And now, for the revamped, re-released, rebranded, Burger King Big King Burger from Brooklyn. Say that three times fast. Okay. The Burger King Big King Burger from Brooklyn. Nice. The Burger King Big King Burger from Brooklyn. Burger King nice. Burger from Brooklyn. Ah, <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for it. It's kind of like buying a new cereal box as a kid and dumping out all the cereal yeah. just to see the prize inside. Let's find out. In comparison shopping, to be honest with you, the Big Mac wins. Burger King, shame on you. You can you can afford a recyclable box, right? So this is already making its way through the wrapper. Not really a good sign. Three, two. <laughs> What's the big idea? Here is the Burger King Big King burger. It looks almost identical. Yep. Just bigger bread in the middle yep. and the bigger onion. Yep. I don't think the middle of the Big Mac burger is this big. Yep. The moment of truth, Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta wash it down. <laughs> I can't oh. do it. <laughs> In my right hand, we have the infamous Big Mac. In my left hand, we have the newcomer, the Big King. The one thing that's obvious to me besides the packaging being better than McDonald's, on my left hand side here, I have the Big King and that piece of bread in the middle. It's huge! Both burgers purchased in Brooklyn, one block apart, just about the same time. The only real difference for me today was the wait time. Over at the Burger King here in Brooklyn, I waited about 20 minutes for my order. That's right, 20 minutes. Bullshit. Go figure, fast food. I walk into McDonald's, I say, give me the Big Mac. 10 seconds later, it's done. Nice. The other big thing, over here in Brooklyn, New York, everybody knows prices are kind of expensive. Huh? However, the Big Mac, two for five dollars. The Burger King Big King in Brooklyn, one sandwich, four seventy nine. What? No, that's not with the meal. One sandwich, four seventy nine. Well, the truth of the matter is, my mind is officially made up, and I will tell you my decision after a few plugs. So viewers, tell me, what do you think? Is this copycat Big Mac from Burger King a good idea? Is this even a burger war or just a burger battle? Or is this a burger bust for Burger King? Mm. Speaking of which, if you're not number one in fast food burgers, how can you be the self-proclaimed king? The truth! It's kind of like, you know how people are giving LeBron James a lot of heat yep. for being called the king? 
Well, he didn't name himself the king. The people of Cleveland named him the king. Yep. However, Burger King managed to go out and say, we are the king of burgers. Yep. And if you're not number one, mm-hmm. then how the hell are you the king? Yeah. So you'd be like, Burger Queen. Yep. Burger Queen. Yep. But Burger Queen does sound kind of funny. Can you imagine us going out when we were younger saying that we need to get some food at the Burger Queen? Yo, son, I'm hungry, man. No, nah, man, I'm hungry, son. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. Yo, son, let's go get some burgers. Yeah, man, that's a good idea. Let's go get some burgers. Yo, we gonna go to the Burger Queen. The what? Huh? Burger Queen. Queen. Let me know what you viewers think of this so-called burger battle and let me know what you think about the show. Have you even tried these products yet? So please do me a favor, log on to Twitter and follow, mention and respond to at Ask Modern Wall Street. And the best and funniest answers will be read on an upcoming Modern Wall Street digital mailbox segment. And for the record, I do like the classics. I'm going with the classic Big Mac. And for ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinton.